there's a lot of rabbits that are living as like roommates that hate each other. Are they kept together at the previous home? Yes. When they're in their um, enclosure at night, where yes. do they go to the bathroom in there? They ended up cleaning up the poop because they kind of do leave it everywhere and a lot on top where it's um, closed in, like more like a den. Okay. So when my events <laughs> are bonded, they will specifically poop in the same place. And I kind of think that's where you're at with them. Like, they're not aggressive enough to fight. So at first look, you'd be like, yeah, they're bonded. Any of that. It just means that they're not really enjoying each other's company. And that's fine. There are siblings that don't get along. There's a lot we can do. I think your main concern right now is potty training. Both males. Oh, okay. Which is why I kind of agree with you. And I also suspected that they're maybe fighting with for territory or they're not aggressive with each other but there was a lot of humping that was going on too when we first brought them home they're really interesting because often they will lie together you know like kind of like cuddling mm -hmm. but then i've noticed the last few days not so much they kind of lie you know three feet apart uh, and are, are, are both of them intact no neither of them are it's you separate them and stabilize them and once they are going to the bathroom in a, in the same spot every time then start reintroducing them. So they're not settled in their home until they're pooping in one spot. So it might take three or four days of separating them before they're like, okay, this is where I'm gonna claim this home. Ideally, this is what I would do. So I would have two little X pens and they should be close to where you eventually want them to live but now where you eventually want them to live, like the nice cozy place that should always have extra treats, that should be where they go visit. And whenever they're there together having a good time, they can be there, but then they get removed back to their regular place. When they walk through the room, do they walk through the center of the room or do they hug the walls? Mostly through the center, okay. although Thumper is more likely to like hide under things and go closer to the wall. Okay. So um, they don't really explore much of the house. So okay. is, like the office is here, and okay. then they've got to go up a couple steps to the kitchen, mm -hmm. and then there's a living room. Or the it's two sisters <laughs> fighting with each other, and you just know that if you could separate them and get them into a better headspace and bring them back together. And that's kind of what you want to do. So train the rabbits separately until they're bonded. Okay. And the more that they know about the way things work, about the routine, about how their litter box is cleaned, about how they interact with each other, the better they're going to behave and more comfortable. So I see a rabbit. Oh, oh look oh, at that. Oh my god. That's so cute. cute. Um, but bugs who I'm guessing is like the more comfortable of the two. Yes. So is he exposed to new experiences a lot? Like going outside or going outside in a new area or being on a leash or going to a new park? Does so we have a deck straight out of this door. So if you only saw one or two rooms in your life, you'd probably get extra territorial. So kind of when we show them, I don't know where they're... There's a mark up. Okay. The more that they can see, it's a big world out there, kind of the less. So when you get them pooping in their own areas, and that that's part... Then you want to start taking the other person's poop and switching it and putting it in their poop pile. It's sort of the equivalent of like moving somebody's stuff into the house before they move into the house. Many things. And then when they come back together, you want to introduce them in the front yard of where you want them to live. One of the easiest ways to bond. When rabbits can already live with each other, but they don't really like each other, if you separate them and kind of, st it's like a big dog, big dogs don't bark. You know what I mean? Like once they are completely comfortable in their self-esteem and they come back together, it'll be a completely different scenario. The answer to that is whenever they start pooping on their own. 
Like, some rabbits will be able to do it by being in the same room and watching. Some rabbits will need to have complete privacy in order to gain their nerve back periods of time. Like, they can roam together, but um, they need to not think at all that they live together. I mean, just by putting them in stuff, they'll let you know. You'll know when they've caught on because they'll be pooping in different areas and they will not want to, I mean, and that's the thing. Like, if you, if one is going in this area and then you let them both out together and then that one stops, then, you know, you got to separate them both even farther. Two days, like, give them two days of peace and then I would bring them out on the deck with, like, some treats and you. We'll be able to put them back together and you will get a better result.